Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to talk all about composing and decomposing shapes using pattern blocks. So please continue to watch. Okay, so let's look at our shapes. First, we have a hexagon. Then we have rhombus and triangles and trapezoids. These are all the shapes that we're going to work with. All right, so first we're going to use the trapezoids to see how many trapezoids we can use to create a hexagon. Now a hexagon is a shape that has six sides. Let's count the sides. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, a hexagon has six sides. Now, let's see how many trapezoids we can use to create a hexagon. Okay, so I have one, and I'm gonna flip and turn, and I have two. So, two trapezoids create a hexagon. Okay, now we're gonna look at another shape. We're gonna see how many rhombus we can use to make a hexagon. All right, so when you're combining and composing shapes, it's very important that you kind of flip and turn and twist the shapes to see if they fit. So, oh, we got a match. So we got one, and let's see if we can fit another one. Two, and one more, three. So I can use three rhombi to create one hexagon. Look at that. All right, now let's see if we can use some triangles to, oops, let's see if we can use some triangles to create a hexagon. Let's see. All right, we got our triangles here. All right, let's see. All right, so I have one. All right, and two, and three, four, let's see, five, uh oh, and six. So I use six of my green triangles to create one hexagon. Look at that, it fits right perfectly. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to see if we can combine all the different shapes to see if we can make maybe we can use triangles to make a rhombus or maybe we can use um trapezoids to make to make a, 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 a rhombus i don't know let's see all right so let's see i got two triangles here and let me see those two triangles also create one rhombus look at that fits perfectly all right now let's see if we can use maybe some triangles to create. Oh wait, look at that. We got a rhombus and a triangle and it creates a trapezoid. Look at that, so cool. All right, so now let's see. Hmm, maybe I can use these different shapes to create a hexagon. So let's see, I got one rhombus and let's see how many triangles. Let's see, one, two, three, maybe I can fit one more. Uh, it's just falling apart. Let's see. Uh, oh yeah, I think one more can fit there. Yep. Boom, one more. So I got one rhombus and three, wait, is that four? Four triangles to create a hexagon. Now let's see, let's use a trapezoid. Okay, and then a rhombus. Oh, look at that, a triangle. We created a hexagon again, using different shapes. Look at that. So cool. Now, you know, you can use pattern blocks sometimes to create shapes. You know, Miss Woodruff is just having fun here. Let's see if I can create some. Oh, it looks like it has hands and a body. Oh, uh, nah, I kind of failed on the legs. Doesn't doesn't really look like legs. Let's see if I can try to make a head. Uh, no, nah, it's not really working. It's not really working at all. But if you have some pattern blocks like this, you can use pattern blocks to create all different types of shapes. So much fun. 
so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you guys later and see you tomorrow. Bye!